What's up, everybody? <laughs> I'm back. Actually, back again. X L E E E I T E X L E back again. I know I've been gone for a while, but I'm gonna dress the elephant in the room. 800 plus views. For JD from NY206. That, that's straight crazy. 800 people around the world watch my video. That's just crazy, bro. And it's still going. The views are still going. That's straight crazy. So today, I figured, you know what? Let's do it again. So, today, we're watching... um. JD from NY206 versus Monday Night Raw Volume 1. And who is it by? Hold on. Give me a second. I'm sorry. I should have been prepared for this. And it's by Maverick Studios. I'll put the, the link in the description down below. So y'all can go check that video out. But yeah. I've never seen this before ever. The last two I saw like a couple times before I made that video. But yeah. You know what? Let's get into it. <clears throat> oh yeah, this is a try not to laugh. Well, I'm making the try not to laugh because he is funny all the time. Not well, not all the time, but like 90% of the time he is funny. So yeah, basically all the time. So yeah, let's get into his video. Let's go. It is 11:19 p.m. I just hit record. On my OBS, I just sat down, just got home from my brother's Sounds house, sweet. watched it with him in my dad's game room, because there's a bunch of family drama going on with everybody in my family. Have I seen this? So, me and my two brothers, we secluded ourselves in my that. dad's game room upstairs. Like the uh, video, video. And we watched this piece of shit pay-per-view. He got fucking pumpkin pie, he got... Skeletons and, and Halloween. You got edition. a fucking tin full of apples, bobbing for apple. This was clearly booked by a fucking four year old. <laughs> Sami Zayn can wrestle circles around Roman Reigns, and at least Sami Zayn has some fucking character. Roman Reigns got nothing. Fuck up. My, my wall to my bedroom has more ca charisma than fucking Roman Reigns. Fuck out of here, dude. This microphone has more charisma than Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns is garbage. I don't know when you guys will he realize this. Just listen. Every time he comes out, the, the man is not wanted. Because that's all it took for Sasha Banks. Actually, it was three seconds. It took Sasha Banks three oh, yeah. fucking seconds. Yeah, she all she that. needed to do was hang on for three fucking seconds to make sure she walks out of roadblock still your women's champion. You mean to tell me that Sasha Banks is such a fucking bimbo. <laughs> you mean to tell me that you think your fans are that fucking retarded? That Sasha Banks couldn't hold on for three fucking seconds? I mean, for Christ's sakes, the fucking crowd was counting down on the timer. Brian Kendrick versus TJ Perkins. Crowd was dead. dead. I could walk past the fucking graveyard that's three blocks away. <laughs> I get more action out of the fucking graveyard on my walk there than you see from the crowd in this match. Brian Kendrick versus TJ Perkins. Complete fucking garbage. They trolled us. People were complaining graveyard. on Twitter. You lied. Reacting. Go fuck yourself, WWE. They were tweeting at Adelina. Well, who cares? Nobody made a peep. I don't know what the fuck these guys are doing. Get them off this show and put them in front of a intimate crowd at Full Sail University. That is the NXT. only way this is going to work. Seriously. Or either that or move them to SmackDown. Because that more be Ronaldo can turn these guys the overnight into superstars. That's it. And it's a two-hour show. I think we'd be more keen to watching it. On the three-hour show, these fucking people are sitting there. When is the show over? Is it time to go home yet? You know? They don't know what the fuck they want. Get them away from Monday Night Raw. I've been blowing my nose all day. He was sick doing I've game. had no voice all day. I can barely swallow. I'm wondering to myself, holy shit, am I ever going to get better? 
and then I watch Roadblock. I actually feel worse. <laughs> Bailey versus Alicia Fox. Who the fuck cares? Bailey Alicia wins with a Bailey to belly. Watching a scary movie that brings you back to your childhood. Freddy Krueger. Michael Myers. Jason. <laughs> you know? Chucky. Hellraiser. Rosemary's Baby. Something along those lines. You don't even need to go that far, man, to find a genuine scare. You don't need to go that far to find a genuine scare. In fact, professional wrestling fans have nightmares. Terrifying ones. Horrific ones. Ones that we want to wake up from, but we can't. That nightmare is Monday Night Raw. But this is my genuine opinion of the show, man. It is awful. Right, you want know. fucking Halloween 52 great. weeks great out of the year? Hilarious. You watch Monday Night Raw. You don't need one night out of the year to fucking scare the shit out of you. Just watch Monday Night Raw, man. Because if you're a wrestling fan, or if you're somebody in this profession, in this business, trying to work yourself to Monday Night Raw, Monday Night Raw is the scariest fucking thing you could do to yourself if you're in this business wanting to make it big. Why? What is the point? What is the point? You know, at least get their fucking introductions right. Cedric Alexander comes out. He's got Drew Gulak's fucking Titantron video package playing above him. You know? Fucking blatant disrespect to these guys. It's like they're fucking out to just kill everything. Everything Triple H had a fucking hand in. This seems like Kevin Dunn always... wants to fuck with it and ruin it. Oh, Triple H did something good. Fuck him. Now it's on Monday Night Raw. We're going to ruin it. That's exactly what they did. They killed the women's division. They killed the Women's Cruiser Revolution. Leaves. They killed the Cruiserweight Classic. They killed the Cruiserweight Division. Everything. Tag about teams. They killed everything. Whatever Triple H had his hand in. Can't the Monday Night Raw? Dead. This show is an absolute fucking abomination. 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 But I'm the goon. Yeah, I'm the fucking asshole in the IWC who doesn't know what he's talking about. Who's always overly negative. I, I, I mean... What am I supposed to say about this? This company is fucking dead. Absolutely dead. And I don't know what to say anymore, man. I really don't. I don't know how much bitching. I don't know how much moaning. I don't know how much complaining I can do anymore, man. I don't want to come on here and be fucking negative. You want positivity? You want pos positivity from me? SmackDown will bring out a glimmer of positivity in me. You want positivity from me? I'll watch NXT and Lucha Underground and come on here and NXT give you a completely so different fucking atmospheric review. And if you enjoyed that, you can check out more right here. Also, you can check out the world's best web series, The Our People. I think and that's the creator. That's the creator of the uh, video. A free teddy bear. Look, subscribe to him. Um, is, is Mark dog, Lane. Like, it's a dog teddy bear, you know, like, I don't know. Same difference. You know what to do. Subscribe to this man. And yeah, there you have it. You know, JD from NY206 versus Monday Night Raw, Volume 1. You know, that, it was funny. It was a little funny. But it was just like, it was just like showing his like anger towards towards it. Because, yes, I don't care. I, I like wrestling. Like, but it is. It's turning, it's turning trash. Like, it's trash nowadays. Like, back then, it was like, yes, like you had to watch it. But now... Now wrestling is just like it's it's just it's just trash. The only the only like good things about it is WrestleMania. Not no WrestleMania be trash sometimes. It's just I don't know. I have no clue. I have the game. The game has more quality than the actual show sometimes. Like you know, but yeah, that's just my opinion. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Maybe we'll do the other one. I think it's a volume two. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.